Malachi, you're back. Just landed. Are you all right? What did the doctor say? Lots of bruising, but there's no permanent damage. Don't fuss. Malachi, you are in the hospital in Spain for a week. A man who evaluates antiques for a living should not have to worry about getting beaten by thugs. The chest Senor Perez was trying to sell was a fake. It's hardly my fault he took my evaluation badly. You need to take security on these jobs. Some of these sellers are dangerous people, and you excel at pushing people's buttons. I'm honest, and that's precisely why my clients hire me. Is there any urgent business? I have a few things to fill you in on. Let me know when you've had a chance to settle in. Sometimes, our customers bring in items for my appraisal. They're kept tucked away behind the screen, so no one tries to buy them. My suitcase. I can't forget I have my passport in the pocket. I'll take my passport with me. There's nothing else I need from my suitcase at the moment. We should catch up on what's been going on while I was away. Let's do it. So what's the next assignment? You just got here. You probably haven't even been to your penthouse yet. That wasn't the question. <sighs> Fine. There's a supposedly undiscovered Rembrandt in Rome for Sotheby's, and two pieces in Egypt for Rutherford's. Take them both. Malachi, you just got out of the hospital. You should let your body rest, at least long enough to get used to a time zone. With the economy in the gutter, there are a lot of desperate people right now. Desperate enough to sell Grandma's Harrington or create a good forgery. I might as well make the money while I can. You're driving yourself too hard. Your body needs... What my body needs is no concern of yours. No. Thanks for reminding me. There was also a new client who called. Something about a government contract. You said in your email that you've been looking into security options? I made a list of the reputable security agencies in New York. You should have a bodyguard travel with you. With the money you earn on these assignments, you can afford it. No, they'd only get in the way and be tiresome. I prefer to travel alone. Fine. There are other options. Who is this new client? Amble Dexter, 452 Central Park West. He wouldn't say what it was about, just that he needed someone with your expertise. If he wouldn't even say what it's about, then it's not worth my time following up. Well, it is a very upscale address, but do as you please. What other options do you have for security? I've been researching security agencies in various international cities. I can set someone up when you travel, have them meet you at the airport. I can't trust someone I've just met. How could I be sure they weren't already bought off? These are reputable agencies. You have to get over your trust issues. Hmm. No other brilliant ideas about security? I have a report on where to buy guns in various countries. It's not a very good option, but it's better than going into a bad situation unarmed. And maybe the mere presence of a gun will remind you not to shoot off your mouth. Gretchen. <laughs> I mean, give your fascinating opinion quite so freely. All right. Maybe we'll try that next time. That's all for now. Very well. We're right on 7th Avenue. Excellent visibility and good foot traffic. But most of the walk-ins take one look at the price tags and quietly leave. Fortunately, most of our business comes from private clients. I have a sneaking suspicion Gretchen keeps gold and bronze objects behind her because of the way they bring out her hair. That cabinet is worth a bloody fortune. It's utterly unique. Gretchen's desk is more cosmetic than functional. She does most of her work on a tablet. Gretchen Stern, my shop manager. She's efficient and intelligent, very good at what she does. Unfortunately, she can act overly familiar at times. I don't need mothering, or girlfriending, or any ing for that matter. How did he know I was in Manhattan? 
And how did he get my cell phone number? I don't need to call him right now. I don't need to text him right now. In case I have visitors, as unlikely as that may be, I'd rather use my phone. The desk looks good and is functional, but it doesn't have a particularly interesting history. I've always liked the sense of isolation in that painting. I find it best to have my clients associate me with interesting but unusual finds. The artwork is all chosen for that purpose, and I change it every few months. It's a letter from Mr. Barosi, an antique dealer in Venice. He has a brilliant eye for interesting pieces. He's a little quaint. He insists on sending snail mail. I'd like to see what Barosi's found. Perhaps I'll be passing through Venice sometime soon. economy seems to be all the newspapers can talk about these days. I'd like to see what Bar Yes, Malachi. Did you give Amble Dexter my cell phone number? No. I told him I'd give you his message and that I didn't know when you'd be back in town. Hmm. Well, he got it from somewhere. That's all for now. Very well. I'm going to go see Mr. Dexter. Good. But tell him you can't travel anywhere for a few weeks. I'll do nothing of the sort. Good luck. Here's my passport. Welcome, Mr. Rector. You can go through to Mr. Dexter's office. Use the elevator, sir. Thank you. Ah, Mr. Rector. What a pleasure to finally meet you. I've heard about your remarkable talents. Which I presume you'd like to rent in the near future. Precisely. Please, come in and sit down. This is Mr. Reichardt, my associate. Mr. Rector? Hello. Before we discuss the job that we have in mind, I hope you won't object to a simple exercise. Oh? I'm afraid I left my performing monkey hat at home. Please don't take it like that. I think as a historian, you'll find it quite fascinating. I'll think about it. Dexter is the man in charge. I'll address myself to him. What is this exercise you mentioned? Take a look at this man. Tell me if he reminds you of any specific person in history. I read objects, not people. And this exercise is illogical. Humor me, please. I've heard you have a photographic memory and that your knowledge of history is beyond compare. 
I'm intrigued. I prefer to work on my phone. I'll scan in the man's bio. Is this a joke? Not at all. What do you see? His biography reads like that of Raffaello Sanzio d'Arbino, the 15th century painter better known as Raphael. You do not disappoint, Mr. Rector. Such a pleasure to finally meet you. Truly, I'm delighted. Wonderful. Now perhaps we can discuss the job you have for me. I still don't see the point of that exercise. A modern man happens to have a similar life story to a famous painter. What of it? Indeed. Its relevancy to us needn't concern you. All we ask for is your expertise in making the historical connection. Do you have a job for me, Mr. Dexter, or not? I do. The job is in Venice. A young woman of wealth and high birth was murdered there a week ago. Her name was Bianca Cardolo. I'd like you to go to Venice and investigate who she was and do what you just did so magnificently. See if she reminds you of any historical person. That is all. I don't investigate deaths. Hire a detective. We're not looking for her killer. Only the facts of her life. A brief biography, if you will. And for you to document any connections you draw to any figure in history. Perhaps there will be none. That's acceptable as well. You get paid twenty to thirty thousand for your work for the auction houses. I'll pay you fifty. It should take you no more than a week. What say you, Mr. Rector? I might be interested. But first I want to know why you're keen on this particular woman, and what the point is behind these comparisons to people in history. I'm afraid any further information is classified at a high security level. I'll take the job. Excellent. I know you won't disappoint me, Mr. Rector. Speak to the guard in the lobby. He'll give you your plane tickets. And Godspeed. I very much look forward to hearing your report when you return from Venice. I'll forward the relevant information about Bianca Cardolo to your phone. Very well. Goodbye.
pass through the scanner, sir. Mr. Dexter said you have plane tickets for me? Yes, sir. Have a good trip, sir. Thank you. Looks like I've taken care of everything here. I should head to the airport for my trip to Venice. I started a dossier on Bianca Cardello based on the information Dexter sent me. I should start there. I should call Detective Brunetta. Some of these could have hundreds of matches, but I'm only considering historic people I think fit the general circumstances.